Hey guys, welcome to fifth grade chapter two, lesson three. We are going to get started with number two. One number one is done for you. Um, so the important thing on this one is that um, for our purposes, I'm not going to show you how to use base 10 blocks to divide. It's not a skill that we'll need later down the road. So we are just going to do the math. We are just going to divide. Okay. I have over here written down the multiples of 14 because I do not know those off the top of my head. So hopefully I don't have to do any more than that, but let's get started. Okay. So 14 will not go into one placeholder, okay? 14 will go into 16 one time. One times 14 is 14. I subtract. I get two, okay? Now, if I'm paying attention to my dirty monkey smell completely bad or does McDonald's sell cheeseburgers, then I know that I divide, multiply, subtract, Check and then bring down. Okay, pause that, write that down. It's important. Okay, so I have done my dividing. 14 went into 16 one time. I multiplied one times 14 is 14. I subtracted, I got two. Now I need to check. Two is smaller than 14, so I can go ahead and bring down my eight. Okay, as we can see over here, 14 goes into 28 two times. 2 times 14 is 28. I subtract, I get 0. Okay, my answer is 12. Okay, pause it, show your work. Make sure that you're showing your work. It's important, guys, okay? Okay, we are going to do number 3. Just a second, let me refold my paper here. Okay, all right, I've written down my multiples of 13 because I'm not familiar with those. So we're going to go ahead and get started, okay? 13 will not go into 1. It will go into 19. It looks like the closest I'm going to get is 1 time. 1 times 13 is 13. I subtract. I get 6. Okay. So now 6 is smaller than 13. I can go ahead and bring down my 5. Okay. And it looks like over here I have one that gets 65. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times. 5 times 13 is 65, I subtract, I get zero. My answer is 15, okay? All right, numbers four through seven, you guys are gonna do those. You totally can, I believe in you, okay? We're gonna go to number eight. Okay, all right. So number eight says 13 into 182. I just rewrote my multiples from my last problem. That was pretty easy. Okay, so 13 is not going to go into one still. Okay, 13 will go into 18 one time. One times 13 is 13. I subtract. I get five. Okay, five is smaller than 13. So I'm going to bring down my two. When I look over here, I see that there is a 52. So that's one, two, three, four times. Four times 13 is 52. I subtract, I get zero. My answer is 14. Okay? All right. Sorry, I didn't read the question to you on that one. It says there are 182 seats in the theater. The seats are evenly divided into 13 rows. How many seats are in each row? So actually, my answer is 14 seats. Okay, word problem, word answer, guys. You gotta make sure we label, okay? 14 seats. Okay. All right. Number nine says there are 156 students at summer camp. The camp has 13 cabins. An equal number of students sleep in each cabin. How many students are in each cabin? So whatever our answer is, we're gonna have students as our label. Okay. So again, wrote down my 13s. Okay, 13 is still not going to go into 1. 13 will go into 15 one time. 1 times 13 is 13. I subtract, I get 2. 2 is smaller than 13, so I'm going to go ahead and bring down my 6. You can see over here that 13 times 2 is 26. I subtract, get 0. So, 12 students. 
we have to make sure that we label 12 students in each cabin, okay? All right, on the lesson check, you guys can totally do that. We are gonna go to our spiral review, okay? So number three on the back side, it wants you to write in standard form, six million, six million, and you'll see wherever there's a comma in these words, that's where your comma goes in here, okay? 700,000, 700,000, there's a comma, comma, and 20. Well, I have to have three numbers here, so that just means I fill in a zero for the hundred place, okay? All done, okay? All right, now, number four says, what is the following sentence written as an expression? It doesn't ask us to solve that. It just wants to know how we would write it out, okay? So, add the product of three and six to four, okay? So, product means multiply, three and six, and we're adding that to four, done, okay? All right, we're gonna go to number five, which says to transport 228 people to an island, the island ferry makes six trips. On each trip, the ferry carries the same number of people. How many people does the ferry transport on each trip? So 228 people make six trips. Let's find out, okay? Six is not gonna go into two. Six will go into 22, three times, three times six is 18. I subtract, I get four, okay? Four is smaller than six, so I can bring down my eight, and I know that six times eight is 48. So 38 people, word problem, word answer, guys. Make sure we label, okay? All right, guys, last one. Isabella sells 36 tickets in the school's talent show. Each ticket costs $14. How much money does Isabella collect for the ticket she sells? So, 36 tickets, $14 each. Let's find out how much money she made for the school, okay? Four times six is 24. Four down, carry your two. Four times three is 12, plus two more is 14, okay? Tick, tack, toe, okay? Don't want to use it, don't want to use it, need a placeholder, okay? And then one times 36, I'm just going to go ahead and write that 36. We're going to add those up, okay? Four plus zero, four, four plus six, 10, carry your one, one plus one is two, plus three is five. Don't forget your dollar sign is your label for that one. All right, guys, that was 2.3 come on back for 2.4